day one diet check-in. Uh, I'm gonna weigh myself in our spare bathroom, which is why it looks like it was straight out of the 50s. Hey, how do I turn the camera around? Huh. Back in a sec. This is our bathroom. This is our shitty bathroom. Okay. Oh, avert your eyes, children. Look at that. That's why I need to lose so much weight. Okay. What does that say? I can't see. Holy shit. 293. So 293 and a half. So, so here's the thing. If I step on it again, it'll be 291. If I move it half an inch, it'll be 291. But you know what, I'll take it because that means tomorrow I can lose weight even if I don't. Okay, so all I've had this morning has been uh, water. I'm about to have a delicious breakfast of, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna have today. <sighs> what should I have? Potatoes? Huh. Oof. Okay, we're on day one. I just had a shower. And I just weighed myself, which you probably just seen this video, and now I'm eating potatoes. So, so, um, <laughs> it's just gonna be really hard. Um, so I just reheated them in the microwave, I had a selection of the various bounties that the potato world has to offer us. We've got some of the gold, some of the russets. Holy crap, that's boring. No, one thing I did realize is I don't need the oil. That little oil is doing absolutely nothing. So I, may, I might save the oil for a cheat day on the diet because a cheat day on this diet will be roasting potatoes with oil, but obviously not a huge amount. I'm still talking about a drizzle. Maybe I've got to research it. I know the point is to have only potatoes, but there are some diets that say, well, you can have a little bit of something else. Oh. Um, it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Actually, it's before that, but um, I haven't had any caffeine either, which is hard. I'm just drinking water, which is nice, but oh my God, I need my Diet Coke. I don't. I've got to go without it. So that's it. Day one has started. And um, it's already bad. <laughs> it's all right. We're going to get through it. I'm going to do some experiments on the way I cook them. I'm not sure I like pre-baking and then microwaving. This is bad, man. So I think I might roast some today and do a proper roast just without the oil. right? So I'll boil them and then I'll spray the bottom of the pan and I'll just roast them on top of that, see how that comes out. And uh, I'll make a video of that so you can see it. Day one rolls on. Okay. Well, I'm definitely full. I mean, no doubt of that. I'm full. I didn't eat them all, actually. Um, I forgot something on my data list that I did um, yesterday. Um, allergies. I'm waking up with terrible allergies. Now, I've always suffered a little bit from allergies, but not really. I'm not, you know, like I have dogs and I'm allergic to dogs. So it's minor. But lately, my allergies have been going, uh, getting really bad. How's my dry skin this morning? Uh, but allergies, got to add the allergies to the list. Anyway, I just remembered, so I wanted to get it on video for everyone. Oh, that was boring. I'm going to have a glass of water. All right, so I uh, had my breakfast. And um, it's the morning still, so I don't have much to stay on day one. I'm going to do another one later on today. Uh, but a couple of things I wanted to mention. One is my weight. So I kept, apparently I gained three and a half pounds yesterday. Now, I know I didn't. I, it's impossible. I didn't eat three and a half pounds of food, even close. And uh, I didn't do terribly on my diet. So, actually, I didn't do well. But the point is, I didn't gain three and a half pounds. Um, so my scale's off. That's kind of frustrating. And I don't know whether to plump for a new scale. Plump. Or um, just deal with it until I lose enough weight and just be vague. I know they say you're supposed to be precise, but at this weight, I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm taking it. 293.4 pounds. Fuck it. That's where I started at. You know, um, the other thing is sleep. So I actually slept really well last night. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to a phone call um, from Joe Collins <laughs> asking for my vote. So now they call at four o'clock in the morning. 
Oh my god. Um, but all of the other stuff, the skin's dry this morning, my left foot hurts, uh, my allergies, I added that. We'll see how they go, you know. We'll see if my dog helps me with them. I think they're going to take him out for a walk right now. All right, Nuggets, I'll chuck it, check in later. And I'll chuck in later. I'll check and chuck later. Check, chuck, check, check. So it's lunch. I tried putting them in the oven because the microwaving was horrible. Um, so just to give them a bit of crisp. Here we go. Look. It's a little crispy. It looks nice, doesn't it? Um, so let's see whether that makes them taste better. They'll probably be dry, though. Mm-hmm. Hot. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better, actually. So it's better mostly because you get the crispy, so it still tastes boring. But it's a nice crispy exterior, so I'm getting crunch, so I'm getting texture. And so, you know, it's really, the morsel is really engaging my mouth. There is some amusement in this bouche. Um, yeah. There you go. I think tonight I'm going to try roasting fresh potatoes. Start it from scratch to see if I can get an even better result. Because these are a little dry. But definitely better than just microwaving. I put these up in a convection at 425. So about 450 regular oven. Yeah. There you go. Delia Smith over here. Bye. Okay. It's hash browns with uh, no oil. It's basically just shredded potato. Um, I did put a spray of oil on the bottom of the pan so that it wouldn't stick. Actually, I don't think I even needed it. I tried using the skillet and it was like just it was like eating smoke. It tasted, it smelled like smoke. So. I used the regular non-stick pan, so I didn't need any oil. But there's effectively no oil on this. I mean... That's not bad. <laughs> I put salt on it. Because uh, I realized after lunch today that there's just no way I can do this without with just potatoes. I'm going to be violently ill. So I put a little bit of salt on there, a little bit of pepper. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. They're not hash browns because there's no oil. And I'm realizing as soon as I taste this, I realize that actually hash browns are mostly oil. It's all right. I mean, it's about variety, right? And maybe this will fill me up for the rest of the night. I'm not really hungry. I just did it because I wanted to experiment without being super hungry so I could actually decide whether or not I liked it. Um, but I'll maybe I'll eat this. Or maybe, you know what, I'll probably put it aside and then reheat it later. But hash browns. Shredded potatoes. Literally a tss of oil. Tss tss. Wait. Tss of oil. Um, and then a little bit of salt and pepper on top and then fried them for what seemed like about 400 hours. Normally hash browns are quick when you got oil, but I didn't have oil, so. Right, nuggets. So my mouth is burning from the tiny amount of pepper I put on there. So even on day one, day one of just eating potatoes and drinking water, I can feel my palate becoming way more sensitive. So tiny bit of salt, tiny bit of pepper, and my mouth is burning. And I love pepper, so it's not like I'm hypersensitive to it normally but wow it's amazing yeah the salt tastes like salt but the pepper is really strong mm. i just recorded this whole thing without the mic so i have to do it again <laughs> all right morning all <coughs> it is uh 7 15 a.m um so this is the final little segment i'll do and then i'll put the day one video out so you're going to be a day behind. Yesterday was my day one, and I'll put this up right now. Um, all right, so what are my thoughts? My thoughts on the diet after day one is that it's going to be really hard. It's going to be really hard. The um, I was sick of potatoes by the middle of the day. I mean, literally, I had potatoes in the morning. Honestly, I was sick of potatoes by the end of the first meal, right? <laughs> and I've realized that the thing I love about the potatoes is not so much the potato, it's the oil. That's what I love. You know, I do like oven fries and I do like, I don't know if you ever had um, 
like if you cut potatoes into little french fry sizes and then put olive oil in a pan and stick that in the oven and just as is don't even blanch them you don't need to maybe you wash the potatoes right so you r rinse them in water that's delicious those fries are fantastic they taste like uh, greek fries to me that's what they taste like and they're absolutely delicious so but what's delicious is the olive oil <laughs> and the potato is a good receptacle to hold it so i'm realizing that's my love more than anything else so by the end of the first meal i was bored i was like oh my god this is just raw potato plain potato um and then i tried a couple of different things i reheated i tried the hash browns the hash browns were okay at the point i cooked them but then i reheated them later on in the day and they were disgusting i mean they were vile right completely inedible so um i took one mouthful threw those out and then in the evening i wasn't that hungry but uh i was like well i gotta eat something so i'll start making roast potatoes now the roasties take a good hour to make um if you cut them small enough otherwise it takes longer um but i made myself some roasties i had two potatoes about that big so one two it's not that big one and two <coughs> and um with no oil i added salt and pepper um back because i just i can't do it without salt and pepper I rest. And it's about weight loss it's not about resetting the palate it's about weight loss so i'm i'm having salt with it i <laughs> just have to otherwise i won't be able to survive more than the day um, they were pretty good the roasties, you know, they weren't as good as with the oil like I said It's about the oil, but they were okay. You know, they had a good crunch to them um, The taste is already I'm so over it though. What's harder about the diet? Um, and I realized that this morning and at every second of yesterday uh, It's the soda and the caffeine giving that up. I had a headache all day you know, I had a headache about after about two hours of being up because I hadn't had any caffeine and that just stuck with me and I still have it I still have it it's a little better this morning but um just craving a soda all day i wasn't craving food that's what's so weird i was just sick of potatoes and therefore not hungry but water just it doesn't sustain me i mean it does sustain me but it doesn't make me feel satiated in the same way that uh, diet coke does because i'm an addict to it so that's going to be really hard day two on that i'm hoping i can break the you know, at least start with breaking the caffeine habit early and then break the soda habit and then the food habit and so on and so forth. So that's where we're at. So I'm about to weigh myself. Um, so you won't get that until day two. Um, so tomorrow for you guys. Uh, but that's it. Day one done in the books. Also, I noticed my skin's a little better this morning. Mm. I don't know about the other stuff. I slept pretty well. I'll give you a longer update after I've got more of a... Um, a larger data start sample but day one and my skin's already not as dry it's impressive day one in the books <laughs>